I saw a continuation of the bad mom's story, but but at Christmas time and their moms arrive. I mean, that pretty much says it all. The audience is going to go to the theater thinking, this is going to be fun. The three moms are so different. And then you see their moms, and their moms are so different, but all coming from a, a, a place of, of truth and need and you know, a, a backstory to the to the mother daughter relationship, but um, I didn't. I I can't say I had a lot of trouble figuring Ruth out. I mean, she's certainly painted in some broad strokes, and and <clears throat> the nature of the comedy is it's you know it is broad. It is kind of celebratory in the madness of Christmas, and that's great because Ruth, you know, she's just decorating her lawn with these crazy you know, 12 days of Christmas, um, mechanical uh, creatures and, and the lights and everything is kind of, I said it's like on acid, you know, it's Christmas on acid for gosh sake. But it, it pushes it to an extreme. Amy's not measuring up in terms of how Christmas should be, so Ruth is just going to, okay, I'm, I'm making some phone calls and then they arrive and just redecorate the house all in blue and silver. And Amy keeps saying, but that's not how I want to do Christmas. And Ruth keeps saying, no, this is the way it really should be done. And this is the way the children really want it to be done. And if you really want to be happy, this is how it should be done. It's that presumption that mothers have that they know what the tradition is and they know how to make people happy. Peter and I live near each other in Connecticut, and we were in our first big Broadway hit together. His first Broadway hit and mine, and it was, it's never been equaled because it was a um, play that won the Tony Award that year, written by Tom Stoppard and directed by the great Mike Nichols. And Jeremy Irons and Glenn Close were the leads, and the young, utterly dashing Peter Gallagher was in it. and. He had just gotten married, and I had just gotten married right before rehearsals started. And um, so, you know, we, 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 you know, you bond in the course of an eight month run, but uh, he's, he's someone who's like a theater actor with whom I've, you know, our paths have crossed, although we've, we've not worked since then, except on The Good Wife. We, we did, he did play a story arc on The Good Wife, but uh, yeah, he's one of the great guys and you know in the theater and perfect you know perfect foil for me